Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. In this video I am going to talk about VSX. VSX stand for Virtual System Extension. In a checkpoint firewall world the VSX is very important. If you know VSX then your chances of getting hired uh, from checkpoint interviews is more. So let's understand what is VSX. Consider we have uh, appliances of the firewalls like that if you have something which act like appliances like a firewall but it's not really present there it's virtual you will be having firewalling functionality in a virtual world what is virtual system extension virtual system extension is the checkpoint product or i would say the software which is generally used to provide you the firewalling functionality without having real appliances onto place. What that means, consider you have requirement of having hundreds firewalls. For example, you are a service provider and you need to have or you need to provide a service to your 100 customers and every customer demanded a different firewall so what are you going to do you're going to buy 100 different appliances for each customers or you'll be having this solution called virtual system extension so how it works so what is virtual system extension actually do so basically within one appliance say you have a license for 100 firewalls so within the one appliance you can create 100 firewalls and every firewall having a different experience it is not you know interfere between your firewalls for example if you created 100 firewalls within one system then you'll be having a separate 100 firewalls for separate customers in VSX world there are terms and terminology which we use so basically the appliances which we purchase which having this uh, VSX feature enabled we call it VSX gateway and in that VSX gateway we are configured or we configure different firewalls those different firewalls we call virtual systems and those virtual systems get configured having some different networking devices kind of things but those also we have in a virtual world uh, in a virtual form so we have a virtual routers which is we can create within that appliance itself we don't have to go for any other vendors then we can create a virtual routers and there is a warp link or we can say virtual interfaces for connection of this virtual system within one appliances you have a flexibility to have all these things connected together and accordingly achieve your purpose so back to the example i have a requirement for 100 customers and those 100 customers are demanding 100 firewalls so this is one of the choice you will be having this virtual system extension enabled appliance uh, having 100 uh, virtual system license enabled and you can provide uh, 100 firewalls to the 100 customers and that way you serve your purpose so this is what the basics of the virtual system extension i hope you understand uh, what is virtual system extension uh, we'll be going more and looking into this in our upcoming videos just try to subscribe my channel uh, hit the like button and try to comment what requirement you have with respect to this series i'll be trying to bring all those content on this series plus uh, try to share uh, to different friends or your colleagues or circle so that they also get uh, understanding how these things works so guys thanks for watching this video